Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue part 3 of our Saving My Disaster campaign. This time with a massive, massive, uh, massive Avenger defense mission where a Redditor unfortunately has driven his campaign into a state where only sheer dedication and brute force will uh, help him to even win that. We're in November and only have magnetic weapons. We fought pretty, pretty damn hard to even get one of these nests down. There's still another one over here and I'm just realizing there are two sector pods, which I absolutely detest. And I don't even know uh, what we're going to do with the uh, cannon. But yeah, that will potentially be part four if I so survive uh, the rest of this mission. We're up against a nasty pack, Double Snake, uh, Centurion here, Normal Mutant, an Advent Elite, and um, a, an Archon. So let's maybe start with the Archon first. Spoil boy, that guy is annoying. Okay, no, we're not going to go for the Gatekeeper yet. Continue with the Archon first. Not even close. Well, it doesn't help if we're not hitting our like 70 to 90% shots against him. Fantastic. All right. That unfortunately just does not help us a lot because uh, the Blazing Pinions have already started and those of you who are playing XCOM on a regular base will know that that means there is no, no way for us to disengage. Moving as ordered. So we're moving up and let's use the Scribbling um, Knife in the hopes Yep, perfect. That means he's disoriented, so no gateway. And we essentially gain one turn. Fantastic. Good. We're not going to explode this yet, although it would be a fantastic option, uh, opportunity, because we probably need it for cover. Shield Maiden moves over here. Yeah, we gotta start shredding uh, the eye, and we only have very few soldiers that can do so. Good, let's start hitting that gatekeeper. Nope. Slowly but surely, we're knocking it down. Good, what else? We could hit the gatekeeper, not interested. Let's try to get the snake. Nine points of damage, that is almost dead, but not quite. Okay, so how are we going to go about the mind merge? Yeah, we're potentially mind merging here. Fantastic. Let's stay in full cover. I'm moving to here. It's killing time. Got some extra hit points with the mind merge. That's good. 
but we can now use manual override to get mind merge back next turn. Currently can't target the Psyops. That's unfortunate because that would have been pretty good. Wells can use cooldowns. Yeah, I think Valkyrie just to re-stealth would make sense. Reloading ammunition. At the same time we're reloading. Let's try to kill the Naga. 50-50 misses. Continuing to engage. Tired of waiting around. Moving to here. 70% chance to stun this guy. It's not bad. Oh, come on. Seriously missing. Duchess gets the aid protocol because I got the feeling that they will engage and we're just going to go all for one the advent power cells are at maximum charge commander their cannon is primed and ready to fire this is going to hurt this is going to hurt a lot centurion runs away okay fair enough So far, that worked out pretty well. Okay, cool. Well, all things considered, that was actually relative, relatively reasonable damage. Because we can grand and heal it back in just one turn. Yeah, and thankfully, Brawler has saved us. So we are pretty tanky. That's good. Let's make sure that we can kill the snake here. Good. Return to your god. My ammunition is nearly depleted. All right, we got to move away because next turn um, the concealment will go, and I don't want to pull that pack. But I want to kill the snake. To here. Moving to position. And potentially fuse explode the guy. Okay, so, hmm, how are we going to do that? I do have an idea. Uh, we're...
We're Void Conduiting the Shock Trooper. It's not going to end our turn. And it's going to drain some hit point. Said it's not. Wow, what? It's not supposed to end the turn. I read it before the mission. Oh my gosh, okay, well, that is a problem. That indeed is a problem. Okay, so how do I get myself out of that nasty situation? Well, first things first, I suppose. Let's shred uh, the gatekeeper. Can't really shred him anymore. Fifty-fifty on the mutant. We're definitely going to start with him. Good, that guy is down. Continuing to pepper the gatekeeper. Yeah, I don't want to be spotted out. Instead. We're moving all the way over there. Let's continue to hit the gatekeeper. Flashbang, and I'm probably going to use it. Think you're Might as well kill the Viper completely. All right, that worked well. So it's only the Gatekeeper. Moving back, because I don't want to trigger anything. Run and gun. Running. This might be two shots even. Gatekeeper is just very, very tanky. No, I wanted to flashbang. Oh my gosh, I am stupid. Oh my gosh. We have to take out that gun. Yeah, I don't want to be spotted out. Well, now he can gateway. That is a problem. Should have continued uh, with that. There's a chance that he will melee attack, but there is a pretty good chance that he will just gateway. Well, 
that was too bad, to be honest. Now we fight in the open. Good, let's continue and just try our best. Top Trooper should go down. Very nice, that's what I'm talking about. On reserve. We're green to go. Good, let's couple of things here. Number one, we still got some healing left to do. Your fight is not over. Thankfully, we have a few more med kits with us. Unfortunately, the most injured of our soldiers, the Mac, cannot be healed. Inclined to give uh, the kill to our Reaper so that he gets a knife back. Alright, that should trigger another focus. There we go, three focus, that's good. Moving away. And reload. Plus, let's kill this guy. Hopefully get a knife back. Really? One hit point? Well, there you go, buddy. Are you kidding me? We still took damage. Wow. Okay. On the move. I'm on it. Good. So the first of the trucks is. is primed. Let's make sure we're not triggering anything. I can handle that. Rock and roll. But we're reloading again. Everybody is injured by now. We're just moving up, getting some uh, healing, and should be fine. Affirmative, covering now. That's one turret down, but we still need to deal with the rest. Absolutely. Out there. The other turrets are a problem, and the gun is a problem as well. Landing C4. So I think we're going for the gun next. And the way that I would like to do that is via shadow. I am the unseen. I go where I am needed. OK, 
Okay, it seems sort of clear. I bring eight. Good, we got one more charge with medkit, that's fine. Moving up. Double it's move. Far, but I can reach it. I'm all over it. Moving to position. Good, nothing to shoot at right now. Got it, moving. We're double moving because we're kind of in a time crunch here. On the move. We won't get any other high ground, so I think we're staying with a sniper and instead are setting our weapon so that the next shot definitely is a hit. Ooh, this is intense. Hundred and seventy. What the heck? What the heck? Are we just looking at the chrysalid queen? Like I said, this this map keeps on giving. Okay, so we got to figure out how to finish uh, this mission. But Valkyrie here can do that by herself. question is how do we want to approach those guys I want to go through here that's not a bad idea but we are pretty clustered so maybe we can just go from here and from here almost pincer them solid copy Long range movement. Good. The short and medium range um, soldiers should come from here. And we're then going to engage around the corner. I must run. Short range goes here. I see the path. Shield Maiden also goes here, short medium range, and Voodoo can essentially get over Moving here. Out. Overwatch. Overwatch. Come get Overwatch. Um, let's just move to here. To and Ready also reload. Okay, we got kind of a trio from the north all of our guys are coming from the east and we got the towers from the south so that's as good of a pincer as it ever gets now we fight in the open all right fantastic so we're going to plant the c4 my life is in your hands And let's carefully uh, move on. On approach. Good. We're going to position ourselves in full cover. Prophet is going to move over as well. I think we have a pretty solid position. So it is decided. 
Shield Maiden can stay there. Udo helps from this angle. And we generally should be fine, really. Let's reload the gun. These guys here are pretty heavy fire team. Uh, these guys here can flank. I reload. Attacking on sight. Everybody reloads, so pretty soon we should be ready to go. Good work out there. The generator is down and the cannon is disabled. Now we just need to mop up the remaining enemy forces. Fantastic. Let's wait until our stealth is back up. I want to make sure that we're really, really knowing what we're fighting. Two additional sector pods are nothing to scuff at. What? What is happening? Um, okay, well, that is the Hive Queen. I have absolutely no idea how and why she even managed to be here. Holy shit. All right, well. That armor's tough. I guess time to kill a gigantic bug. She's the most ginormous uh, of all chrysalids. Why exactly is the Hive Queen on this mission? Wow. I really, I mean, I've done quite a few defense missions on a Long War of the Chosen, but this here is by large and far the most difficult one that I've ever played. And it seems like every a uh, strong enemy in the entire game was just jammed into this uh, very mission. We got a gatekeeper, like five sector pods, dozens of advent uh, endgame units. And this here feels like kind of the F team at best. Not even the B or C team. Like straight up F, you failed. And that's the best team that we can even field, right? Holy moly. Well, we're certainly not going to engage now. I am not suicidal. Running. All right, turbo Moving moves to, to here. And I can cover it. we're just having a little party here. Shield Maiden also moves to here. I'm on it. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. No one will cross. I'm on it. Watch order confirmed. Well, we're likely going to lose the tower. Oh, in other words, I'm not seeing how the tower is ever going to survive that brutal attack. Or maybe not. Maybe the Hive Queen is more intelligent than I thought. It's just trying uh, to play for uh, for time. It's time to focus. Moving as ordered. Maybe she's just trying to get some time because she knows that eventually if we're not able to um, kill everyone, they will win.
That's pretty smart. All right, so. On your order. We definitely have them flanked. Well, we could attack the sector pots, but they are really not the main enemy here. that queen she's now playing hide and seek with us just a moment all right there she is finally good let's hit her down to 150 and I really haven't skipped the beat on this entire mission oh boy okay so we hit that guy again We're almost there. Good, fantastic. Finally, it went down. Oh my gosh, is that thing is huge. Okay, so the very last pack, which is the perfect cliffhanger for the next um, episode because uh, we're going to hopefully beat those guys and then i want to do a bit of a recap and uh, share some wisdom around uh, long war of the chosen um, for the campaign so we're going to have a part four although um, it already has been a long series but yeah that mission alone oh my gosh it is intense two more sector ports a centurion a commander a shield bearer and um, archer and potentially two or three more so that's a pretty nasty pack as well anyways thank you guys for watching oh my head spins this is uh, some intense x coming thanks and have a great one see you in the next episode bye bye